everybody, everyone. This is Trisha, and welcome to my channel. And this is just my weekend vlog. Uh, I'm doing it on Sunday because uh, I really didn't have anything uh, more to, to do because I did do a, a vlog. I think I posted it on Tuesday. And I talked about how I wasn't going to have a craft for that Tuesday. And I wasn't going to have a recipe for Friday, which was this well, past Friday. Uh, so I wasn't really going to do anything. I was going to just take a little break and uh, prepare myself to start a um, craft series for some wedding uh, florals that I'm going to do. It's going to be farmhouse and uh, that's going to start a video for Tuesday. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a Tuesday and my Friday videos are going to be involving all this wedding ideas. And they're just going to be some small things. Nothing really big, just small little things that I can also use for my own home or maybe even just recycle for something else. But anyway, <laughs> all that having said, uh, I had been shopping. Oh, and I went to a farmer's market. We had a really good time. We actually went to two farmer's markets, one on Thursday, one on Friday. We had a really good time. Bought some, you know, vegetables and some, actually found some keto items that I got from there. So I also got some smoked salmon. It was delicious. And we still have some of that. So we're enjoying some things that we got from there. Uh, and while, oh, we decided to wear our hats. I think I told you on the vlog and uh, little tops that I showed you. Um, so anyway, I uh, went to there. So while we were shopping around and had our brunch and things like that, my sister-in-law mentioned, because we did go to Hobby Lobby, and she was looking for a specific runner for Valentine's Day, uh, but they no longer had it. It was sold out. And she showed me a similar one, but it was for St. Patrick's Day. And I told her, well, we can make something like that. Uh, and uh, she was like, well, I don't know about what <laughs> She didn't know she had the time to make it. We still have time for Valentine's Day. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get the stuff and I'm going to make one. I didn't find a red lace and I'm sure that if I had gone to another fabric store, I probably would have found some. But I decided that I would make do with what I could find at Hobby Lobby since I was there. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I have an idea in my head. So this is what I got. I got some um, tool or tool. Some of y'all like to call it tool. But I got some tool and I got red and I got two yards because wasn't sure how long she wants this and I, I figured you know one yard was not going to be long enough of a piece and I didn't want to patch it up so I got two yards and then I got one yard of this uh, red chiffon type of fabric and then I got some red uh, ribbon and I wanted a, a satin ribbon uh, but they only had one and it wasn't the, the, the correct you know the kind of red that I wanted it was a little bit brighter red it wasn't quite this kind of a almost dark it is actually it's kind of orangey in, in in the camera but it's really a very pretty kind of a blood red but this uh ribbon that i did get uh it's a sheer let me just rip that off it's just a sheer ribbon um but i think it'll work for this it doesn't show up too much but uh in person it kind of does it'll at least finish the edges for me I think it'll do just fine. So, but anyway, this one had um, 15 yards in it, so I felt it was enough to go to the sides and then on the edges. And the roll of that I found of satin ribbon and this width that I thought was perfectly fine for this particular project um, didn't have enough uh, ribbon in it. I would have to buy two rolls, and well, you know, you you want I want to make it as minimal as possible as far as cost because it's just a little seasonal thing. Excuse me, I have an itch on my back. But um, I wasn't sure also if this was going to turn out right the way that I'm imagining it. So I'm going to do that. But before I do that uh, in my vlog from uh, that I posted Tuesday, um, I mentioned that uh, I had gotten some Christmas cards from some of you, or just a, f a few people, uh, a handful. <laughs> uh, but it was very nice. And I said I was going to go grab them and show and, and, and acknowledge those people that sent me the Christmas cards. But I completely forgot during my video, so I'm doing that right now. And, you know, it's, we're February the 2nd, but, you know, it's never too late. So, uh, Pat uh, McNulty, she writes to me and she sends me little cards and she had sent me some pretty little notes here but she sent me this pretty card right here it's really pretty there you go she also sent me before a little necklace with a little owl and baby blue I didn't even put it on I was going to uh, anyway this is a really pretty card but then she also sent me an extra uh, Christmas it's like a little a little pamphlet it's got some pretty little things in there but it's really pretty look at that I thought it was super pretty 
and it's really nice. So I, I want to put everything back in its rightful envelope so that um, nothing gets lost. So then I also got, and please forgive me if I don't say your names correctly, but this is from Newkirk. And this is from, I guess, from their family because they put from the New Crooks. And they said some really nice things inside. But it's just a little um, cookies and a rolling pin on the card. And it, I thought that was really pretty. Very, very, very nice. I loved it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see what it says inside. Um, just wishing your family happy holidays and happy new years. Thank you for your YouTube channel and all your hard work. From the New Crooks. And it says... With the gifts of God's sweet love, may the joy that is Jesus lead you on to the love that is Christmas. So there we go. It's so pretty. Oops. <laughs> I already read it, but I'm just reading it to you. I didn't read uh, Pat's. Let's see. What did her say inside? Because I don't remember. There's a long note here. And it just says, may all the days of Christmas be merry and your new year be filled with peace and happiness. And then she writes, blessings to you and your family. Love always, Pat. And that was this one that was really cute with those little dogs on it. And the little paper, little note paper matches. It's got the same little, little, little uh, design with the ornament balls. And let's see. I've got one from Dusty Green. Oh, by the way, um, Pat is from Madison, Ohio. And the new Kirks are from uh, Janesville, is this Wyoming or Wisconsin? Please forgive me, WI. I don't see it anywhere like stamped on here. WI, I, I'm, I'm thinking it's Wisconsin, you guys, but I could be wrong. Wyoming is an uh, a Y. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Dusty Green from Milford, Texas. Look at this pretty card with a little wreath on it. It's so pretty. And dear Trisha, I'm enjoying all of your videos. I downloaded I downloaded some I downloaded them so I can do some of them. I am 73 years old and still doing I still do on my own. Uh, thank you, Dusty, and Merry Christmas. It says wishing you a season filled with happiness and joy. It's so lovely. Thank you, Dusty. And I have one more. And um, this person actually sent me little gifts. She's very sweet. Uh, she sent me, uh, uh, she's emailed me before, and she does little crafts with her nephew, and she sent me pictures of the things that they do, and then she tells me they watch my, both of them watch my videos, or, or he, I guess when he comes over, they watch it together, um, and they do a little craft from there, but then they decide to do some other little crafts, um, and she actually sent me a little gifts, so I'll post the picture right here. Okay, and then uh, she also sent me a little card. It's so cute. Look at this cute little card. Little card. And uh, this is Melissa Barrow from Greenville, Indiana. I am. Okay, wishing you the happiest of holidays. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Melissa and Mikey. So thank you to, to all of you who thought of me and sent me a little card. Thank you so very much. Uh, I didn't forget that you sent me a card. And I just wanted to make sure. Oops, something just fell behind me. I just want to make sure that I acknowledge those people and let them know that I did get their cards, especially uh, uh, Dusty and the Kirk. Uh, let me look again because I don't want to get this. Uh, the new Kirk, new cards because um, I had no other way of letting them know that I did get their cards. Well, I guess I could have just sent them something. Guys, I'm very terrible at writing at people. I'm really bad. So anyway, um, oh, but anyway, if you do follow my Facebook page, Trisha's Creations, um, I will respond to you there because I'll get that through, little notice on Messenger letting me know that you've messaged. So if you have any questions or any anything you want to share with me, or also um, on that, uh, if you follow the page, you like the page, uh, you can post you know pictures of things that you've done if you want to share, if you follow it along with something. All right, you guys, so I'm going to get started on this. I have my glue gun because I thought I'd use my glue gun because I don't have a fabric glue, but I was looking through my glues anyway, and uh, I found this one, and it says felt glue, so I'm figuring uh, that's fabric. Maybe that'll work. I don't even remember when I ever purchased these. Oh, I know what this is from. Uh, this is from my nieces. Uh, they did uh, some crafts. <coughs> Excuse me. And they had bought glitters and some other things and pieces of felt and these. And uh, my sister-in-law brought it over. She said, hey, you, wanna, you want this stuff? 
I guess they were cleaning out stuff and they found it. So anyway, uh, I took it. <laughs> of course I'll take it. So I think that's, I believe that's where it's from. Okay, you guys, so my idea is to cut a runner. So I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, and look at this cute little lantern. This is from a Target. It's from their $5. You know that when you walk in, they got like a dollar spot. This was a $5 uh, item, but they have like $1, $2 and up. And it says it's battery operated. Uh, tea light only, not included. So I don't know where it's battery operated from, to be honest with you. I don't see anything in here. Where would I put this tea light? Oh, I need to learn how to read everything entirely. It says, to prevent fire, use with a battery operated LED tea light only. And then it says, I'm not included. <laughs> so that's what it says under there. I just skipped and <laughs> read ahead. Okay, so I thought that was really pretty. I'm going to use this in my one of my arrangements for the wedding ideas. Okay, so let me adjust my camera. Okay, so I was trying to decide what length I should uh, cut this runner. And um, I went ahead and I measured actually my, my little table here. And it's 48 inches, just a tad over. But I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this as my measurement because I I kind of like the length of this. I think it's an, a long enough runner. Uh, if she was gonna put this on a bigger dining room table, of course I I'd want to measure. Uh, but they don't have that right now. They just have like a little breakfast table, and I feel like this is about the diameter of it, except that it's round and it could just lay on it. It, it probably won't hang over. But she did mention that she wanted it for the counter. You know the little island counter. Uh, in the kitchen, um, they just had the whole kitchen redone and she has white granite on there. So she wanted to put it on that. So she thought it would look really pretty there. And so I'm thinking that <laughs> this is probably long enough because I, I don't know the, the actual space now because um, I don't recall I was there when they had built the bottom, the new island area, but I didn't see the finished product with the new countertop and such. So um, I'm... It was just wood at the time. So I don't remember, I just remember feeling like, oh, it feels so roomy in there. It was so much more room because they had this kind of like a bar height island before. That was like the sink there, but now uh, they now made it all level with the height of the counter, the sink. So it's like a, you can actually pull up some chairs rather than having to have stools there. And since my, my, both my father-in-law and my mother-in-law are in wheelchairs, um, it works out perfect for them okay so also the width the width uh, is 12 inches too much no actually 12 inches is fine so I'm gonna get this in a one I don't want it double so I just want it one like that so I think I should cut out let's see the length of this the fan is blowing this away. If it doesn't come out exactly 48 inches, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm actually going to fold this at the sort of a 6 inch or a little bit more. And then I can cut it straight. This is such a hard fabric to work with, you guys. Because it's so light, it just flutters off. And of course I have my fan on. So I think I have to lower that. Let me lower that. Well, actually, I'd have to turn it off. I'll just tilt it. I need to have some air on me. Okay. So I'm just going to fold a little bit of this on the edge. This is always the hardest thing to work with, and I should have just told myself. I should have gotten some satin <laughs> to work on it. I'm not thinking, do I have any satin? Hmm. You know what? I actually have a runner. I just saw one in my little closet there. Let me go get it. Okay, you guys. So this is what I have. And I, it's folded in half here, by the way. It's a little dirty. I had it on one of these little counters over here. It got dirty. Um, so how, how, how long is this? This is really long. I don't know if I want to make it that long because I mean, that's even more detail on it. I, I think I'm going to just go ahead and go with this length. But this is a good width. So I think I'm going to use this as my pattern. And this will weigh it down so it doesn't move around on me. So... Let's do one layer instead of folding it. There we go. Like this. And then I'm going to pin this down onto my uh, tool so it doesn't um, 
move around and then I cut it crooked. Put my phone here to hold it. This is what I'm going to do. Let me get this fabric over here on the floor. <laughs> oh boy. So yesterday my husband and I, we did some little errands here and there. Uh, but um, then we came home, fell asleep, because uh, we got up early, went to go have breakfast, and then um, after a whole day <laughs> of doing nothing, we woke up and I said, hey, he said, I'm going to go out there and start sanding more of those doors. Our cabinet, our kitchen cabinet doors, we've taken them all off. And um, we had started sanding them, and then I had the bright idea of getting a paint thinner. <laughs> and then I put that on there, and that just turned out to be really messy, although it worked. But we decided that, you know what, sanding them would be better. And we only had four more doors to do, so it wasn't like that big of a deal. Because uh, we ended up stripping, using the paint stripper on like nine of them or so. But anyway, um, he sanded them, and while he did that, then I did some putty, some wood putty filling in some dents and holes and things like that. And then we've left them overnight, and he's going to go out there in a little bit and check that. But I want to sand that. Oh, this is... This, this uh, tool is not very cooperative, but I don't want it to look... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it, pin this one, put it through so it doesn't move around on me, and then I can trim. And I used to do veils for brides, and I get the tool and be cutting it and adding little pearls and little trims on the edges. So I'm thinking to myself, how in the world did I do it? Because, goodness gracious. You know, when you're younger and thinner, <laughs> you can do all kinds of things. So, let's pin this. And the length I want is just the length of the table. So there. And if I go a little bit longer, it'll be fine. But let me get this folded right here. Evenly as best I can. Did I already pin here? Yeah. Okay. Pin that down. Let's see on the other side. Okay. Alright guys, I am going to uh, cut out, and this is probably going to be really boring. I'm just going to cut out along here, and then right here on the edge to cut at the length. Right here. Cut right here and then make my way down this way. I don't want to cut all the way because the, the rest of the length of this tool, I can save it because I, I could use it for something. So I only want to cut out this piece out of here. So I'm going to cut that out and I'll be back. Okay, so I've already cut the tool here, uh, almost the width and the length of this. What I want to do now is I'm going to actually fold it in half and uh, so that I can try and do this as evenly as possible because I still have to I, I cut a little bit wider out than the uh, than the actual runner that I'm using as a pattern um, for my width so that I could then trim it and try to do it as straight a job as I can and see these little ends here, little edge here this one wants to curl up on me I could think there was a fold there or something. There we go. Now that I've got it like that, I can pin that so it doesn't move. Come on, honey. Uncurl. Okay, let me remove the. Where's the pin on this side? Well, just give her another one. I'm going to do a lot of unpinning. That's okay. So like that. Pinning it on the edges now so it the edges stay nice and still and don't move around on me. Come on. Here where it's curling, definitely pin that. And 
and this edge I feel like I'm going to fold it because when I get to this edge over here this curves and you know I want to cut it straight so I should just use my grid hello let's see I unfold that I'm having the hardest time because of that little edge here. Probably should have moved it in further. I just wanted like, I like to use this, you know, like save as much fabric because then you could possibly use it for another project. Okay, this is, yeah, six inches, so it's actually 12 inches. Okay, so if I just keep it on this grid and then I just follow this, this line right here but just to keep these dual together here so first I'm going to cut it straight here okay that's as straight as I'm going to get okay so then I'm going to do the other the other start over here on this other end actually because and then also trim over here so it's nice and straight just making sure this is all aligned with my starting line here on my grid I should probably use my rotary cutter what do you guys think because sometimes when you lift the fabric you know it kind of moves it so if I just slowly go with my cutter It moves around a little bit, but it's a little bit better than using my scissors. It's just a folder right there. And careful not to cut my already existing runner. Which I think I did a little bit. Oh, scissors here. So it doesn't pucker the fabric. Okay. Let's get this straight again. And then following that same line. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is what I am ended up doing. Okay. Great. Awesome. Now I can unpin everything and of course I'll be back. <laughs> okay. So I'm back and I've got my, I'm starting at this edge here and I want to attach some of this ribbon along the edge here. I want to glue it down on the edge all the way down and then do it on the other side on this other side and then the two ends now I'll see this felt glue that one's kind of started I wonder if it's not dry I want to see how this is going to work if not I've got my hot glue then oops I got my hot glue then I'll plug it I threw my glue on top of my hot glue then oh wait hold on let me grab something real quick this just fell I just realized I could use that to keep this down because this is holding it so it doesn't slide off, off, off. Uh, but then this will hold hold the tool flat down so then I can put this on there and I can just move it along as I glue. And if not, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And that's why I left this board on here because then I can pull it off. Uh, but I'm trying to figure this out so it doesn't look messy because um, once the hot glue, gun, once the hot glue uh, dries, it'll dry clear. But if I try pulling it off while it's wet, it sort of comes becomes white and stringy and... So I'm going to test two things. I'm going to test this glue, and then I'm going to test the, um, I just realized why it doesn't come off. It screws off. I was, I kept trying to pull it off. Um, and then I'm going to do the, okay, this is kind of messed up here. It's got some glue that dried on it, which is fine because it kind of sealed that. Ugh. Is the glue going to come out or do I have to brush it on? I would rather brush it on actually. Get it thinner. I just wonder how long it's going to take to dry. Oh, uh, three to four hours. How long did it take me three to four hours, guys? Okay, we're going to do this the, uh, this is how I rigged it way. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to put the glue 
on the very try to put it on the very edge and just do little little tiny little sections at a time. So this is gonna take me a while, so but not three or four hours. So I'm gonna put it down, press it, lift it before it dries, which it's already doing. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. And I don't like that. Okay, let me figure out something else aside from just sewing it down. Yeah, I don't like it because it puckers it up too. And it melts my felt. I mean, my tool, my tool melted over here. Okay, because it's sort of like a almost nylon-y kind of a fabric. Okay, you guys. Maybe this is the right glue either. I mean, the right ribbon. Do I have a solid red? I don't think I do. I do have this one, but it's this other red. And this is the red that that other ribbon was, and that's why I didn't buy it. Yeah, because then that other part is going to be kind of... No. Actually, it's not that different. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about like folding this and encasing the edge. See, now I bought that ribbon for nothing. I could use it for some something next year, maybe Valentine's. Okay, I can't return it. I haven't cut it, but I can't return it. I cut off the little cardboard piece and. It was on, it was on sale. I, no, no, no. I got, I had my 40% off button. I used that. You guys, I'm a mess. Okay, so if I try doing this, <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe just remove the wire off of it. And I tried tucking that in. <gasps> that might work. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... I think the ironing it would be better to get that fold on there. It's a lot of work, right, you guys? I'm trying to do this where I don't have to do a lot of work. So I'm just folding it in half, and then I'm just kind of like with my finger marking the fold, and that works really well, actually. So I'm going to move my glue gun out of the way for a bit. I am going to use that. I haven't looked at this glue, but I don't feel like waiting that much. And I'm just going to... This is enough for that, and I have another roll here. It's just a Christmas ribbon. I think I, I got this at, at home, or if it wasn't at home, it was Big Lots or some place like that where I got this. But it's from Christmas, but you know, it's red, so I thought that'll work for uh, Valentine's. And I actually put away all my, well, most of my Christmas because I forgot that I still had some in here. Um, and then I left some out that I thought, oh, that would work for Valentine's. So I've been using that. Okay, so I made a crease as far as I could, all the way down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this uh, through right on the edge where the fold line is. You guys would be a lot better. I didn't need a fan, but I need a fan. I'm so, I was so, get, I get so hot. I always get so hot. Okay, now I'm going to pin this. And I'm not pinning it right on the edge. I'm pinning it somewhere in the middle because then I'm going to lift that little tiny edge over and that's where I'm going to put the glue and then push this down. And I think that's going to work. So let's do, let's do this. And then maybe at the end I can pull out that wire edged ribbon. And Sorry, the wire on the on the ribbon and the reason that I'm thinking about removing the wire is that it doesn't really need to be removed excuse me I have an itch on my back okay the reason that I'm removing it is because you know the wire can get like bent you know and stuff like that and then uh, when she puts you know tool um, doesn't really get like a really bad crease on it you can't really iron it though but it's gonna get covered with this uh, this stuff I forgot what it's called anyway this other fabric um, and I'll show you but um, I don't know where I was going with this. Okay, so yeah, when the, with the wire bands, and then when she unfolds it, she's gonna have to be like pressing down really good. Otherwise, she's gonna have like little little folds on the ribbon here and there, maybe from the you know the wire, cost on that. And I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I'm gonna pin this. Keep working. Thankfully, this one piece is long enough to go beyond the table and then 
and this other little leftover bit can go on the edge and if it's enough to do the other edge great I don't know if I have enough of it enough of it I need about that much I need at least 24 inches and it looks like I do I might get the ends with this and then I only need another 48 inches of the other roll gotta try and figure this out to minimize you know using your supplies so I'm gonna put this one away oh I feel so bad such a pretty ribbon too so I can use it Christmas I can use it Valentine's uh, birthday or something special little craft okay so I'm only gonna do that far oh I should do the whole thing what do you think I should do the whole thing right okay felt glue I'm gonna put you away because I think my idea is gonna work so let's test that out I keep bringing stuff up and then I keep throwing it back down on the floor. You guys, I'm going to redo my craft room. I, I decided that I don't like, I feel too crowded. I'm, I'm, I need to see things like, con I got these little white baskets on my little shelves and I have shown you what I did. The thing is that uh, if everything fitted in the little white baskets and you didn't see them, then everything would look all clean and white to me as I'm looking at it. But there's stuff that's sticking out of it. And then I... Uh, uh, at the same time, I'm like, you know, I really don't need all those supplies there. They can be put away in storage boxes. So I got like five storage boxes so I can sort out like, you know, like glass items, plastic, you know, whatever little, like little lanterns and things like that that I bought and stuff. And I can sort them out and uh, label the outside of the storage box because, uh, like I said, it's becoming a kind of a aesthetically not pleasing to me <laughs> and it's bothering me a lot. And not only that, but I want to redo my, my, my bedroom closet, but we have been spending a lot of money on a lot of things that we're doing, so I don't want to spend anything right now, too much at least, to get like shelving and stuff for my closet. So I thought these two tall shelvings that I have, once I remove the stuff that I want to remove from there, and put them in storage boxes, because I have found that going to my storage room is so easy for me, especially during Christmas. When I was doing all my Christmas decor, I just walked in there, grabbed what I needed, put the box back. It was so easy because everything is stacked nicely for me, and I just and we have plenty of room to spread it out so I can look through things. And uh, I thought I have room here for these for five storage boxes stacked up on on top of each other to put my craft stuff. And if it's labeled, I I know that to move the boxes and just put the heavier ones in the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do, you guys. So that's going to alleviate a lot of stuff being in this room. And especially like seasonal, you know what I mean? And since, I, since that, that happens that way, I don't have to be... I still have stuff from Halloween in here, some stuff from fall. I did put away all the Christmas stuff because that went in there. Some fall went in there too. But I, I ended up finding out that I still had some fall in here. And I have some fall florals and things like that that, I, that I, I'm going to use. So these two, I'm going to use them in our closets on either side. And that'll give us some shelving for both my husband and I, for his side and then for my side. And then um, I think that'll look good. And I'll save myself some money. And I don't have to spend another $200 on these shelvings or more. These are kind of a good deal, but they're not at that good deal anymore. And they do have them, but they would be in brown or something. And I want everything, you know, bright and white. Okay, I just tested this, and I do not like the the uh, edge that I'm getting so I'm going to go even closer to the the way that it looks to have loose so I'm going to go a little bit more to the edge where there's some thread on this ed on the uh, ribbon yeah and that looks a little bit cleaner a little bit better so I just got to do this carefully and I'm glad I have this little thin nozzle glue gun to do this now again you could be doing this with just your fabric glue that's what you wanted to do and let's do this, just do this slowly and carefully. Okay. This is, let's put that over here. My eye right here is watering like crazy, you guys. Something, something in here is bothering me. Maybe the fan. Okay. And just making sure that the tool is tucked in correctly. I'm using my phone to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. And then once you do all this, you can just go back and check check the edges and see, well, like, where did it not get glued down? And then just glue that down. You know what I mean? It's better to just keep keep on going and then just go back and see if 
if you missed any little spots, which I, I feel like I have a little bit here and there. But. So I'm going to do that, you guys, and I'll be back when I've glued all this and hopefully the other side and so forth. So then I can show you how I'm actually going to decorate all this right here and hope that idea works out too. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've done all the edges all the way around. I didn't take out the wire. Uh, it was a little difficult to pull it out once I had already glued it down. I think the best thing to do, if you're not going to want the wire in there, is to pull it out before you even put it on there and glue it. Um, because uh, even though I got some parts to pull out of it, in some places because of, you know, the edges, I glued it right on the edge. Uh, the, the glue permeated not only the fabric, but onto the wire so I couldn't pull it out. And I didn't want to destroy anything and risk tearing up the, um, the tool in the middle. So I went ahead and I left it there. But see, I, I did the little corners, and in the corners I actually cut the uh, ribbon, like a little diagonal, so then I can glue it down. Actually, this one I didn't even finish gluing this one down, so let me do that. Got a little edge still kind of popping up there. There we go. There's a little thread there also. There. So they're, they're, they're not perfect, you guys, but this is what I'm doing. It's a little temporary thing for, I was going to say Halloween, Valentine's. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this aside because what I want to do is I want to cut out, out of this, I want to cut out heart shapes and I kind of want to do them like in different sizes. So maybe two or three different sizes, I make a big one and then a smaller one, then a even smaller one and then glue them together so that they're like petals almost to, and like right in the center and then glue them down in different areas and they'll kind of like just but I'm not going to glue them down flat I'm just going to glue them down from the the center of the well you know what let's cut out the little hearts and then we get to that point I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, okay so I've got some paper here and I thought I would uh, make myself a little pattern and I don't need all my hearts to be like all the same size they can just you know, the three different sizes or four, I don't know, whatever different, whatever I get, I'll be happy with. Let's see if I can still remember how to cut a nice heart. So that's nice. I like that size. So I'm going to maybe something a little bit smaller. So I can test this idea out. That'll work. Okay. And then maybe one just a little bit. So I glue on my nails. Okay, let's fold that. Yeah. Okay, so then maybe just a tad. I don't know. Maybe it's a lot. And there we go. So I got three different sizes here. If if they all somehow move around on me and come out different sizes even more, I don't mind. So anyway, but the idea is to cut different sizes. And let me get a little corner here of fabric. And I'm going to fold this over. Put the raw edges together. Or the, actually the factory edge here. Put this together. Fold it one more time. You can fold it however you want. But I kind of want to get like several out of one. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes when you, you know layer things on top of each other and then you fold them you end up with even less I mean like the sizes vary not less but less of a size okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little strips of fabric like that here I can actually get two hard or two of this so we can Pin it down, or you could fold it and put it on a fold. I don't know, whatever, however you want to do this. You just want to let's see, grabbing all, yeah. Okay, so now that I'm grabbing all, then I can cut out my pattern or my fabric out of the pattern. And this is a very, this fabric just moves around so much that. It's probably not the ideal um, if you're trying to do this quickly like I am. 
but it's going to cause the effect that I want. Okay, so now these are sticking out too much. And if your rotary cutter is nice and sharp, my goodness, use that. Let me turn this off because it's the weight is kind of making it hard to. And you want to make sure your scissors are sharp too, you guys. Okay. So now that I've got more or less the shape of a heart that I want, let's see. A little edge here that doesn't look nice. Okay. And then the edges should fray a little bit, which I think is going to cause the effect that I kind of want. Although I don't know if my sister in law will like it. I did show her some fabric in the store that was kind of had this idea. So, anyway, I'm going to cut that size. And then I'm going to cut some of this size and this size. But I want to cut a bunch of them. I don't know how many yet, but I do want to cut as much as I can uh, because I just want them all over this um, thing here. So we'll see how many I need. So let me go ahead and start cutting these and then these, and I'll be back uh, so I can show you what I want to, what effect I want to do. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, so I've already cut three sizes here, and I've cut several of them. They're not enough of what I want, I think, but we're going to try this. Let's move this out of the way. My, both of my scissors are not very sharp now. So I'm going to take the big one, and then oh, that's so many little bits of, uh, my scissors are not very sharp, so they're not cutting kind of very nice little, not cutting kind of very nice shapes here. So I might have to, and not only that, but this fabric is very slippery, and then I'm cutting like layers upon layers, so probably shouldn't do that. Okay, I'm just trying to round it off a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so you take one. This is what I want to do. Little dot, put another in the middle, another little dot or a little line, whatever you want to do. Do that. Now you could finish this off even more with maybe a little rhinestone in the middle, but because this is going to be a runner where things are going to be at, I don't want it to be bumpy. But this is what I want. I'm going to fold them and then kind of like crunch them. I don't know if that helps. To kind of make them a little more ruffly like that. Do you see that? So that's what I want. So it's, it's kind of like the petals of a flower, but it's just little hearts. And then, after I've done that, I'm going to take the, this here. I'm going to start somewhere in the middle just so that I can build out. And then at the bottom where the bigger um, heart is, just start tacking them down. Just like that. And then you're just going to fill it up with all these little little roughly hearts wherever you want, just all over. And I'll see what I can do. If I can fill up the whole thing or just a few. But I'm going to continue building these because I think I'd rather build a bunch and then So let's see. I'm trying to think. I think it would be better to do what I have, put that on there, and then cut as I, or do them as I need them. Because you guys, that's a little one, not the big one. Um, I don't know how many I want to put on there. And they're not like all perfectly straight, okay? So now I just pinch it right where the glue is while it's still kind of wet because that kind of helps to get that little pinch on there, little center bit there. Um, and the reason that I don't want it flat is because I don't want to see the glue, so I'm just pinching it a little bit. And But like I said, you could put a little rhinestone there or maybe a little, um, not a rhinestone, but a, what is, a sequence or something. That would be flatter, that wouldn't, you know, like, you could put something on it and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't uh, not, like, unlevel whatever you put on it. Of course, this is just decoration, you guys, so you don't want to put, like, a pitcher or a glass of water on here. Okay, so I don't want these to be like uh, like in a straight line or anything, so I'm actually going to put this a little bit off to the side here. 
and then maybe follow and, and instead of going like straight over here just maybe a little bit off this way or a little bit off this way you know just keep doing that and maybe I'll come back and put some more here here you know we'll see how far this goes or how long I can <laughs> stand doing this particular project until I completely fill it so uh, just imagine me doing this to go along and then I I might just be back when I'm completely done or maybe almost there okay so I'll be back all right, everyone, I have finished the runner, and here it is. I could add a lot more of these. I cut 32 of each size and stacked them as I did. And some of them I even cut like a little dot because uh, I could see the little bit of the white of the glue. So what I did is I made like a, just a little little circle, a little about the size of my thumb or like that, and then put a little, I folded it, put a little dot of glue right in the center, put it in there, pinched it in, and that covered the any white that I might see of any glue. And then I've just been kind of pulling off the little, you know, the little blue webs here and there. But I like the way it looks. It looks really pretty. I don't know how it looks to you on, uh, on the camera. Um, but I do know the color is a lot more, it's like deeper in person than it is in the camera. Um, of course, because I added this ribbon, it's not as deep as this. But actually, it all kind of works well. Because you really can't see the tulle. So you can't really see what... The, how dark it was and then it matched this more so it all balances out I think it looks really great I'm really happy with it um, I think that if I really wanted to spend more time with this and if my scissors were sharper because I was having a lot of problems I noticed that both of my scissors I was having trouble with they need to be sharpened um, but if I had sharper scissors I think I would have been able to cut a lot more of these and I think you want to take the time and do it with some fabric glue just go ahead and do that I think it would look really pretty that if you were just going to like strategically place things on here, if you wanted to put a little rhinestone here and there on in the middle, some of these, I think it looks great. It looks like little, little flower petals, but they're actually hearts. So you could use the same idea and cut out little sh uh, flower shapes, maybe, you know, with four uh, petals or maybe five petals and do the same thing, just maybe different sizes or the same size. And you can get a, a little springy uh, runner. But yeah, I would... I, I think I would like it if it was a little fuller, a little busier than this. I don't know. What do y'all think? There we go. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. It is about game time for almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I'm going to sit down with my husband. We're going to watch the Super Bowl. And I think we're going to grill some chicken breasts um, and enjoy some nice dinner and enjoy the game. I really don't know who's playing. I know 49ers, I believe, is one of the teams. Um, only because I saw someone post it on Facebook, but I don't know who else is playing. I'm not on, on any of the teams, really. So we'll see. I'll probably pick some because I like the color of their uniforms. All right, or whoever my husband is rooting for, that's who I'll go for. So I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, and I'm going to watch The Masked Singer after that. I don't know if any of y'all watch that. It's on Fox. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and watch that. I love that show. So anyway, oh, but if you have Hulu, uh, you can catch up on it, the other two uh, seasons, the first two seasons. Uh, I love that show. But anyway, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up, and I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up. Let me get in frame here. <laughs> Subscribe. And thank you to everyone who hasn't been subscribing. But make sure you hit that little notification bell also, because then you'll be notified of when I put up my videos, you guys. And I can't wait to start that other video the video series that I'm going to do for February. I'm really excited about it. Uh, and wish me luck on our kitchen. And we don't take too long because we're also wanting to put a new a range over the stove. So we're trying to figure out if we, if we want to do that or have somebody else do that for us. Okay, everyone. Share your social medias. Leave a nice comment down below if I didn't already tell you to do that. And as always, enjoy.